Yo ninjas, what the hell is up? My name's Sean from The Net Ninja and this is CSS for Beginners Lesson 5, Embedded and Inline Styling. <laughs> so there's three ways to add CSS to your document. And the first way is by Inline Styling. And that is not an acronym you see in there, that Y-U-K. That is yuck, because I can't stand Inline Styling. Second way, Embedded Style Sheets. Again, yuck, don't like it. Third way, External Style Sheets. Cowabunga. Don't ask me why I've put cowabunga, I haven't a clue, it's the first thing that pops into my head and in my head it means it's great. So inline styling, right, the reasons I don't like it is because it's time consuming to style multiple elements, okay? If you have a ton of different elements on your HTML document and you want to style all those, um, say you've got, I don't know, 50 P tags and you want to give them all the same style, you have to go into each P tag individually and style them. So it's going to take you forever just to make one page. Um, the second reason, it's tricky to manage an update. Say, for example, you've done all those styles on those P tags and then you want to change the color. Lo and behold, you have to go through all of them again and change the styles. Thirdly, it's messy. It makes your HTML look terrible. If you're putting inline styles all over the place, it's going to look disgusting. Now, there is a reason to use inline styling and it's a very specific reason, okay? If you have a tag that has a very specialized pur purpose, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of warning message, and you want this tag to overwrite any other styles, then feel free, in this one case, you could use a specialized inline rule on that tag. And I'll show you that later. Okay, the second uh, way of doing it, embedded styling. Again, it's time consuming to apply global styles. If you have various pages and you want to style P tags on each of those pages the same, you have to go into each page and embed an internal style sheet on each of those pages. So very time consuming, hard to maintain an update. If you want to change anything, again, you have to go into all of those pages separately and update your inline embedded style sheet. The reason I like these, uh, and I say like loosely, I don't really like them, but they do have their uses, and that's because they're good for making specific page styles. So if you have one page that is radically different from the rest and you have very unique styles on this page, then feel free, you can embed an internal style sheet on this page to overwrite uh, kind of global external style sheets. Now, I'm not gonna go into external style sheets now. That's for the next video. So what I'm gonna do now is jump back into the code and we're gonna have a look at inline and embedded styling. Okay, so here I am back in brackets and we're in the same HTML document as last time. Now, I'm going to add some inline styling first of all and this is how you do it. Say I want to style this header element here. What I want to do is add a style attribute and if you don't, want, uh, if you don't know what attributes are then you best check out my HTML basics course. I'll pop a link to that video uh, down below where I discuss attributes then come back here. So we're gonna add a style attribute. This is where we control the CSS all within this one attribute if we're doing inline styling. And the same as when we added um, properties and values in our declaration in rules in the last video, we're gonna, ha we're gonna add properties and values within this style attribute, okay? So say I want to make this header uh, position absolute. Exactly the same way, we've got our property here with the colon, then our um, value of the property here with a semicolon. And then we can just stack these side by side. So I can add another one. I can say top zero, left zero, width 100%, okay? And again, don't pay attention to what I'm doing here to these properties and values. I'm just showing you how to add inline styles via this style tag, okay? So that's how we do them. Now, I mentioned that it's hard to update and it's hard to add styles to everything. Let's take this for an example. I'm gonna copy this P tag and I'm gonna paste it about, I don't know, five, six times. And I wanna style these all the same way. Now I'm gonna to have to go into this and say style, font size, 10 pixels. Okay, now I wanna do that for each one, each P tag. So I'm gonna to have to get this, copy it, go here, paste, paste, paste. Now that's gonna get boring really quickly. And this is just what, seven or eight tags? If you have 20 tags on your page and you have 20 pages, just imagine how long that is gonna take. I would not wanna be in your shoes. So there's better ways to do this, okay? And one slightly better way is by using an embedded style sheet. So I'm gonna delete all these right now so they don't conflict. 
And then what we do to embed a style sheet, we go into the head tag and we open our style tag here. Brackets automatically closes it for me. And then within these two style tags, we add our rules, our CSS rules, just as we did in the previous uh, movie in an external style sheet, exactly the same. So I could just say here, P, and then do my declaration between the curly braces, font size, 10 pixels. And now instead of writing it multiple times in each tag, that's gonna grab all of these P tags and this one here as well on the page and it's gonna give them all a font size of 10 pixels. So you can imagine how much easier that is to update than inline styling, okay? Now, again, there is a problem with this. Imagine we had a few pages, and I've already made one more here, this contact page, and it's very simple, but again, I've got a simple P tag here, and in fact, I'm gonna copy and paste this a few times, okay? Now, we've got two pages, so we want exactly the same styles on both pages. Now. This style sheet here is not going to affect the contact piece here because we've not got this style uh, embedded in the head. So what we'd have to do is copy, let's get in the index, copy this style tag and everything in it, go to the contact page and paste it into our head again. And now that works. However, if you have 20 pages, you're going to have to do this on every page. So again, pretty time consuming. And imagine this, halfway down the line, you're making... A, uh, a website for a client and then you, you show him your first version where all the fonts red and then he says hey you know what I've changed my mind I want the font blue now that is going to be a shot in the foot because you're going to have to go through each page and you're going to have to change the color here if it was color red you're going to have to go into each page and change the color to blue and that's just one property change imagine if you wanted to change a whole lot of things on each page you're going to have to go in and style every page change rules in every embedded style sheet okay and that's why i don't like them i prefer to have an external style sheet and then we link it into every page and then we just have to change it once and it updates all the pages and i'm going to tell you about that in the next episode the next movie all right so i did say they have their uses and yes they do and i'll cover this embedded style sheet use first imagine just on the index page we have this welcome message okay i'm going to give this a class of welcome okay and we just have this welcome message here now if this was only on this page then there is no need to style this in an external style sheet that is going to be global uh, globally accessible from every page because it's only going to affect this one page so we could just style it here in this one page in this embedded style sheet so what we do is put the class, the period, remember that starts a class, and then we'd go welcome. And then we'd say font size 10 pixels, color red, because we want the welcome text to be red. And that's a good example of when to use an embedded style sheet. A good example of when to use an inline style is something similar. Um, instead of having this here, we could just do, oops, we could just go here and ha add a style equals font size 10 pixels color red and that will do the same trick okay so there they do have the uses um very occasionally use them sparingly uh, otherwise it's going to be really difficult to update Okay, so that about covers it for inter um, embedded and inline styling. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. I'll answer all of those as soon as I can. Uh, subscribe to these videos if you like them, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be covering external style sheets. Cowabunga!